Today Show Health, sponsored by Boots. There are approximately 79,000 people in Ireland currently living with coronary heart disease and many others living with other cardiovascular diseases. We are joined now by Booth's pharmacist, Donald O'Sullivan, who has some sound advice on how to improve our heart health. Donald, you're very, very welcome to the show for the first time. Thank you very much. We're talking about a serious topic, I suppose, yes. heart disease. What exactly is it? Well, heart disease, Ty, I suppose it consists of a number of different medical conditions. You're talking about blood vessel complications that can lead to heart attack, mm -hmm. stroke, chest pain and angina. You're also including heart defects and heart rhythm problems. So you have a lot of different medical conditions that you. And how would you know if you have heart disease? I suppose we'll say there, so hypertension can be measured and assessed. Mm -hmm. Also, we'll say your doctor can do certain screening for heart rhythm problems. We have monitors too that can watch it and we'll be speaking to about the 24 hour blood pressure monitoring service that can include it. Blood tests can show you certain information about your total cholesterol and your cholesterol profile like HDL in bad cholesterol, LDL or LDL bad cholesterol, HDL good cholesterol. So you have a lot of different ways of monitoring it. It affects lots of us all, doesn't it, here in Ireland? I mean, it's huge that here. I mean, Ireland is a small country, but you have one million people with cardiovascular disease in Ireland. That's one million people in this small country. Mm -hmm. And we often think that cancer is the biggest mm -hmm. killer, but one in three people actually die from heart disease. So five on the vote at home, it's, it's, it's very massive. serious, Dahi. Yeah, and like I said, like said, this day and age, with, with yeah. all the things we know, say with education, health education, Same. the food we're eating, we watch programs like Operation Transformation and That's so right. on, so on, so on. That's right, yeah. The message still isn't getting home. I know, I know, because like, okay, medical history is an important factor, mm -hmm. but lifestyle factors are, are hugely significant. And you're talking about smoking, excessive alcohol consumption, mm -hmm. bad diet, being overweight, lack of exercise. All these things are things that we can change that could make a huge difference to our heart health. Mm -hmm. And can it be yeah. small steps? Like I know you mentioned exercise, yeah. but not everybody maybe exactly. can run or jog. But, yeah. but a walk could be yeah. very beneficial. Well, I suppose, we'll see. look, like any carry man will tell you, they are, uh, <laughs> fitness is next to God. This is <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that. I've heard it said already. That's right. the way I you, I'm sure you've said it yourself. But I think if you want to be successful, to, everybody has a busy lifestyle now. Mm -hmm. So if you want to introduce exercise into your daily routine, Nula, you, you'd have to sit down with a sheet of paper and mm. a pen and make out a plan. Mm -hmm. And pick an exercise that you like. Mm -hmm. So talking about walking, you might decide, look, I'm going to go for a brisk walk four times a week, every week. But you would need to review it every weekend to see how well is that going. And then maybe after a while, you could introduce some gold standard exercises like yeah. rowing machine or high intensity training on, on an air bike. But it's all about planning, yeah. you know? And on the other side, don't like say, like say, I think people think, okay, heart disease, heart problems, that's for an older person. We shouldn't be thinking yeah. like that at all. No, because we'd say a lot of those lifestyle factors are things that we should be changing right now. Mm -hmm. So smoking. So you walk into any pharmacy in the country, you can get nicotine replacement mm -hmm. products. They help with the physical withdrawal from smoking. Mm -hmm. Or you have, we'll say in Boots, you, you have stuff for a good programme that helps mm -hmm. with the psychological withdrawal. Mm -hmm. And then diet, of course, is huge. And is it important to get your blood pressure checked regularly? That's something I, I, n I never really think about. Don't I think I'll so, be honest with you. I mean, you walk into any pharmacy in the country, like we'll say any of the Boots pharmacies, any and the majority of the Boots ones are going to be open seven days a week. Mm -hmm. You walk in, you say, I want my blood pressure tested for free. Yeah. And this is a monitor now that I like using because not only does this one measure blood pressure, but it also helps detect atrial fibrillation, mm -hmm. which would be a regular heartbeat, and that can contribute to stroke. Yeah. But, but people I have that unknown to themselves, Don. They can. They can indeed, and you would say like that. So, no, this one, there's no point anybody under 50 kind mm -hmm. of going for it because they can have regular heartbeats anyway. But that's why screening and getting measured, a lot of that is important, but I suppose the best way even to screen for a regular heartbeat also would be the 24-hour blood pressure monitoring. Mm -hmm. yeah. Explain that one you to know. us. Well, I suppose in, in that case, you're getting your blood pressure read over 24 hours every half hour day. And it, it can throw a lot of good information. So, for example, you could find out if you have white coat hypertension. Mm -hmm. That's when, if you get your blood pressure measured by your doctor or pharmacist, mm -hmm. it might be slightly higher than normal because you might be slightly more tensed up. Yeah. And it also measures nighttime dipping. That would be a significant figure. 
and it would tell you about, like I said, a regular heartbeat. So it's a, tr it's a true reflection of what's really happening. So a better reflection yeah. that here, because in the one-off reading, your blood pressure isn't like this throughout the day. Yeah. It's constantly going up and down, and this can produce a report for you, the 24-hour monitoring, mm -hmm. that you can give to your doctor. You just go on booths.ie, mm -hmm. and we'll say there are 35 booths pharmacies doing it there for 50 euros. Or so. Is it, I don't know, is it a male thing? <laughs> but like, I'd only get this checked if I felt that there was something wrong, or say if I felt any bit of kind of a twinge yeah, or something like that. I think a lot of Irish people are like that, and yeah. we forget about stress. Yeah. I yeah. mean, we're all under it. I know. And some people more than others, and, I, You're right. and people You're right, Nuda, react yeah. differently to it. Yeah. So, so how I, do you keep your stress levels down? But like, I mean, we were talking already about exercise. I mean, so that's, coming yeah. back to that, I think we'll say there that that's something cheap and easy. Like we said, even going for a walk that you can clear your mind, reduce your stress levels and just seek professional help also and talk to your doctor about it. If you feel that your, your stress is beginning to interfere with yeah. your sleep, and different factors like that, because the, the, that's critical of critical importance for heart. See, yeah, I, I think we all we did this naturally yeah. years ago. Even when we were younger, we out, we were out playing football, and we were running around all the time. We were yeah. eating the proper foods, and all that kind of. We, we had to put some stuff like uh, krill oil and stuff like this into our diet because we're not getting it naturally from the fish we used to eat. Donald, you're right. We'll say there because. Um, you know, the dirty diesel. We're all, I suppose, our yeah. diets now are not are not great, and yeah, mm. even though um. You were great at promoting fish a few years ago. Yes, there, right, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, that was the one. Yeah, you would have yeah. been proud of me last night. Yeah. I had the pan, a bit of olive oil, and mackerel fillets yeah. up to but, two minutes. But, but brilliant for you, Donald. That, that type of food is fantastic. And for simple you. to do, uh, yeah. that, and, yeah. and not that expensive. Well, you mm -hmm. can't outrun a bad diet. Exactly. No. So people you say you should start it. with the food, yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Mm -hmm. So, like we'd say, once again, get that sheet of white paper out in the pen mm -hmm. and make a plan regarding how am I going to introduce more water into the diet more fruit, more vegetables, watching the saturated fat, mm -hmm. sugar and salt in the diet. And so it's, it's all about planning. Swapping out stuff like this as well for butter and say you can have yoghurts and this as well, Donald, well, like which that, reduces that, cholesterol. That binnacle product there, yeah. if you take between three and six of those a day, mm -hmm. you can get a seven to 10% reduction in cholesterol in two to three weeks. So oh, that's, yeah. that's quite that's, significant, it is, isn't yeah. it? Remind you us know? what the figure is for cholesterol. That's the correct f figure. The figure. So what, what you need to bear in mind in there, Nuala, there is that they're moving a bit away you now from total cholesterol figure. Mm -hmm. okay. And they want to look at certain things like maybe ratios between your good cholesterol, HDL, that's the one that's shunting the cholesterol over to the liver, mm -hmm. as opposed to the LDL, the bad cholesterol, that's leaving the cholesterol in your blood vessels, which is more dangerous because mm -hmm. we all need a certain amount of cholesterol mm -hmm. in the blood in here. And even the blood tests with the doctors can help measure triglycerides. And you get a whole profile now Yes. So it is well worth it. So even that barometer has changed in the last couple yes, of years. I didn't it that. would because yeah. we'd say, oh, I'm going to be 50 in a couple of months, so I've decided I'm getting a blood, I'm going to get a blood test every year now because yeah. I just want to. You see the figures. The more information you have, the better. Well, I tell you, you know? what, Don, if you're going to be 50 in a few weeks' time, I tell you, what, you're doing something very well. <laughs> I, think, I, I, think like I think it's Kate in the makeup department. She was feeling a lot of cracks there, so take me on. Well, no, we want to know what you eat. I want to be held the, together. The same Kate puts it on me as well, Don, and she doesn't do it for me. <laughs> Don, thank you very much. I don't believe you wanted to be there. That's what it is. I don't believe you wanted No stress, I'd say. Uh, oh, Don, thank you, you very much. much. Now, for more information, all we've discussed there, check out both at Dada E and Don. You'll be back again in a few weeks' time. I will look forward to it. And thank you very much, Gurmag. All right. Today's show helped. Sponsored by Boots.